Bronze USA Pressure Washer Perfection. Hey guys, this is Old Man Wags here with Kronzla USA introducing the Kronzla KWS 1200TS model. We're going to focus on some of the unique designs to this series, what makes it so rugged, so industrial, and why it packs so much more of a punch than any other unit in the Kronzla lineup. This is one of my favorite units. Let's not waste any more time in here and let's go check it out in the warehouse. Alright guys, so as you can see, we have already unboxed the KWS 1200TS model for this unboxing video. Some of the highlights that we're going to touch on are the accessories right out of the box, the components that come with it, generic assembly, and getting ready for usage. The first thing we're going to do is take place with our lance holders. These mount right here. And like so, using the bolts that come in the unboxing package. On the front of the unit, we have an on-off switch right here, as well as a pressure gauge. We have a bar and a pressure reading. You want to focus on the inner numbers because those are the PSI readings that we refer to here in America. Everyone that uses the metric system still uses bar. Moving on from there, we have the accessory kit that comes with it. You'll notice that this comes with a 30-foot high-pressure hose. This has 22 millimeter style fittings, just like all the other Kronza accessories. This attaches right here to the high pressure side of the pump, as well as to the inlet on the trigger assembly. Now what's different about this accessory package is it comes with a bayonet style quick connect. What that means is right here we have a locking collar that slides all the way back from its position and can rotate. We take our high pressure lance, we take our locking collar, slide that back completely, insert that to you hear a snap, and then we're gonna take this collar and just rotate it ever so slightly so that it can't unlock while we're using it. The reason this is a nifty little style quick disconnect is because it allows you to completely pivot anything that's attached to any accessory or any dedicated lance or any tool that we might be using with our pressure washer. To remove it, all we do is turn that ever so slightly, allowing us to freely unlock the collar itself. Slide that and remove it. We're going to do that again. All we have to do to remove it is turn this locking collar back to the free position, push in, slide down, and our bayonet is free. Back over to the unit itself, the last thing we have in our box is the low pressure inlet filter. This is designed to thread right on to the inlet of the pump so that we can filter all the water that's coming straight into the unit itself. This is important because Kronzla has a fitting here that a standard garden hose will not adapt to. This allows you to use it with American style garden hoses. What's interesting about this is because this is a wall mount unit, most guys will remove this side altogether. On the back side of the pump, we can remove the fitting that is directly across from it. You'll notice that you can see straight through the pump head itself. The reason that's important, if we don't want our filter inlet here, we can remove it, put a different style fitting on this side, allowing us to directly feed, let's say, a hose barb connection up. Uh, that way our water source goes straight into it. It looks a little more clean cut on the back side instead of looping around the unit and coming around also prevents as many kinks as possible. The next thing that we'll note on the pump head itself, we're gonna start with this red box right here. This is your pressure switch. There's no need to play with that at all. We're gonna focus next on the oil assembly. As we open the dipstick, you'll see that all we're doing here is checking for the quality of the oil that's in there. You wanna do this on a weekly basis if you're using this for commercial use. To drain the oil, we come down to the bottom there's a drain plug right here. With the oil cap removed, we allow all the oil to drain freely. Once it's done dripping, we reinstall this drain cap, and then we come back around to the top. There are four Allen head screws. These get removed so that this plate can come off, and we take the oil level, and we fill it right up to right about here. The oil should sit flush giving you a very even look throughout the entire unit. There shouldn't be any milkiness left if that's why we're changing the oil. And reinstall this cap, reinstall this dipstick, and that's the basics of how you change the oil. If we look over here, we have our unloader. Just like any of the smaller units, the unloader is something that should only be touched if we're doing diagnostics, making some form of a repair, or trying to manipulate the flow. Under normal operating circumstances, there is no reason to make that adjustment. On the high pressure discharge side, you'll notice that it comes straight out using this pipe, fitting a 22 millimeter connection so that our hose can attach. 
What a lot of guys will do is remove that all together. Because this is parked on a wall, they'll have a separate hose reel. They'll plug this fitting, purchase the correct port from Kronzla, and then they'll run this as a dedicated line straight to their high pressure hose reel. Again, just for the sake of making this a little more clean cut. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about on this unit is the time delay feature. Unlike total stop, this unit requires 30 seconds of inactivity for it to temporarily power down. What that means is you can let go of the trigger, you have 30 seconds before this machine temporarily powers down. After 30 minutes of being in that power down phase, the machine itself will completely turn off, giving you the need to cycle the toggle switch from on to off and then back to on again as a built-in safety just so this, this machine isn't sitting there infinitely pulling power and infinitely running in temporary shutdown mode. The reason that's important is because in commercial and industrial grade environments, it's not uncommon for these machines to accidentally get left on. Well, that 30 minutes of inactivity allows yourself to just have a built-in safety so that this machine isn't left running any longer than it's supposed to. It's pretty safe to say after 30 minutes of inactivity, you're probably not using the machine anymore and you're gonna have to go back and wanna turn that on and off anyway. Now, the reason that 30 second time delay is different than total stop is because while you're using this, if you're sitting there squeezing the trigger, let go, perform a task, maybe change your accessory, you don't want that machine turning off because what'll happen is as it shuts down, the moment you squeeze that trigger, even if it's just a couple seconds later, it'll cause an amperage spike, making it turn right back on. That 30 seconds gives you just a nice little window, a nice little buffer of how you can use the machine without it needing to power down, recycle itself, or run the risk of it over amping. Let's now move on to some of the other things that come with this machine as we walk to the side of it. You'll notice as we move around, that this comes with a power cord, but what isn't supplied is an actual power supply plug. The reason that it's not included is there's too many variables between 230 volt, 440 volt, single phase, and three phase that this unit can come in, and it's important to contact an electrician to find out the right plug for your outlet. Also on this side of the unit, we have a sticker that tells us everything we need to know about this unit. If we focus on it, it says this is the Kronzla WS1200TS series. Right down here where that U is, it says 220 to 230 volt, and then it says three phase. It also lists the nozzle requirement. For this unit, it's a number seven nozzle, as well as the serial number. If you are calling for parts for this, everything that you need to know about the machine is located right here, as well as on the back of the unit itself. It also says 230 volt, three phase. The reason that I'm pointing that out is because this is an actual series of unit. They do make several in it. One is 230 volt single phase, 230 volt three phase, and another is 440 volt three phase. Each one of them has a different spec range. Each one of them has a slightly different motor and pump head assembly. Uh, the basics of how they look and function are exactly the same, but that nameplate will tell you everything that you need to know when you need parts for this. Um, as we move through the rest of the unit, this is designed to be used in a rugged, all-day environment and it's designed to perform longer than any other pressure washer on the market. If you have any questions about it whatsoever, feel free to click the link below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Kronzla USA, pressure washer perfection. Kronzla USA, pressure washer perfection.